Hi, hey, David Jack here, Superintendent of Falcon County Public Schools with another video update. There are three updates uh, to provide today, and they're all uh, pretty timely in terms of being sort of hot off the press. So I'll start with the first um, regarding the 21-22 school year. I've received a lot of questions about the 21-22 the school year, and um, which begins August 11th relative to, um, you know, what, what's the plan, what's going to happen with mass mitigations and whatnot. So here's what we know thus far. First day is the 11th. We intend to begin the year with five days of instruction for all students every day. Uh, we intend, uh, based on what VHSL has um, decided that, you know, athletics, et cetera, will, will proceed as normal. And, uh, but what we don't know is what's going to happen with masks. But here's what I can tell you. I can tell you that the, the, uh, the emergency order, state of emergency order is uh, due to expire on June 30th. Uh, the governor has not said whether or not he's going to extend the state of emergency. I guess we'll have to wait uh, for uh, in, and, in and around June 30th to arrive before we'll know what, what's going to happen with the state of emergency. But if the state of emergency is lifted, then there, there, there can be no requirement relative to wearing a mask. So the mask piece would be lifted completely. So we have to wait and see what's, what's going to happen there. The other date to look out for is um, May 28th. There's going to be some more information coming from the governor uh, on May 28th. Uh, and it's an update essentially on mitigations and capacities, et cetera, et cetera. Um, there, there was some information released last week that um, uh, provided for, for more flexibility uh, beginning on, um, on May 28th. So uh, we'll just have to kind of wait and see what exactly those things are. Um, but in the meantime, we are, uh, we, we must follow this, the governor's order. Um, we really don't have a choice. Um, there are some nuances in the governor's order, but when it comes to schools, uh, not really. The, the, the uh, most recent update from last Friday still requires that school staff and students wear masks, uh, even if fully vaccinated. The exception to that is uh, eating, drinking, uh, exercising outside, etc. So. We'll provide more for day, more information as it comes in, but that's where we are right now. Also wanted to note that um, individuals can begin enrolling now for the 21-22 school year. Um, if you go to www.fcps1.org and click on the enroll button, uh, you can folks can start enrolling right now. And we've tried to make it as make it as streamlined and as easy as possible to do that. Uh, annual enrollment for um, anyone who's you know already currently enrolled and it will still take place in July and that but that's also an opportunity for anyone who wants to newly enroll they can do it then also so in other words someone who's newly enrolling can begin enrolling now through summer folks who are um, uh, enrolled annually and just need to do the typical annual enrollment uh, they can do that starting in July uh, virtual Academy. I want to talk about Virtual Academy. It's important. It's something we worked very hard to develop. And let me just tell you a little bit about what's happening with Virtual Academy. Um, what we've learned from, from some of our students and families is that the virtual option has really worked for, for many of them. And it's, it, it, and if you believe that every student learns differently, just like every adult learns differently, then it makes sense that some students will really thrive in the virtual setting. And it's, it is, it is a very good experience for them. It's a very bad experience for some students, but it's also been a very good ex student experience for other students. So the virtual academy that we're putting together is a standalone academy taught by our teachers. Uh, students will re remain enrolled in FCPS. Uh, which means they're able to participate in extracurricular activities, etc. And the application for this program will be available, made available soon. Um, but I can tell you that there's going to be a tremendous emphasis on, I mean, there's going to be some prerequisites for entrance into the virtual academy. 
probably the biggest one is going to be does the virtual model does the virtual you know instructional uh, program work for our students and we have we'll have data for some of this for a lot of those students relative to their experience with virtual instruction this, this current year but um, it, it will be that will be the, the emphasis it on in the virtual program is does it work for your kid does it work for your child has, it, has your child been successful in the virtual model uh, the application will be available soon if you want to learn more about it now you can go to bit.ly forward slash fcps1 virtual that's bit.ly forward slash fcps1 virtual uh thanks for listening um as we get receive more information we'll certainly provide it um we, we, we are winding down the school year obviously but there's a lot going on with uh, summer academy planning graduations uh testing etc so people are busy but um uh, it, it, there's a lot of really good happening and we our intention is next fall we we're we're better than ever um we're, we're back and better and that's that's really the goal our goal here uh at fcps so thank you for listening and we hope you have a great rest of the week